This is Twit. One of the things that has always, uh, was always chafing while I was with Network Solutions, which, you know, I'm very loyal. I, I started with them in the beginning. They were you know, your registrar. Yes, GRC.com. GRC. Yeah. GRC on day one, my domain was at Network Solutions because that they were the guys. That was that they were the, the 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 big Kahuna. They may have been the only Kahuna back at that in those days. But uh, but what really chafed was the idea of my and this of course came along later. The idea of my needing to pay them additional money annually, even to redact the domain registration listings they themselves had created for ICANN's Internet's Who Is database queries. You know, the original idea behind database, you know, domain registration was that, that for it to be public, right? I mean, this whole thing was this, we're all one big happy globe, uh, you know, worldwide network, and this is all going to be wonderful. And so the, the, red, the, red, the people who register domain names should be public. Um, but it wasn't long before spammers and scammers were scraping the public domain registration who is database for information and abusing it in every way imaginable. So it soon became prudent to have that data masked and masking services appeared. Then the domain registrars themselves began offering this extra service with many seeing the provision of this masking as, you know, of course, another revenue opportunity. So, just one of the many reasons I'm so glad that I left Network Solutions and moved over to Hover, who has been, if they're not still, a, uh, uh, a sponsor not, of they, the Twit they, Network. They're good, and they still do free who is privacy, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They, all, they know, And I, I went back to make sure yeah. that that was the case. So, you know, that's the way it should be. Okay, now, in the EU, with GDPR, things are somewhat different. Now, as we know, GDPR has had its pluses and minuses. One of the minuses we all now experience every day is the pervasive annoyance of every website being forced to wave its cookie policies in our faces and obtain our acknowledgement and consent. On the flip side, one of the pluses is that the GDPR includes a stringent data protection law that has forced domain registrars to redact information on owners from their publicly available who is databases this information is still present on domain uh, you know uh, in, in the private databases of domain registrars which you know they have to make they have to have that in order to to maintain the domain and it has historically been made available to some organizations but usually on a very limited fashion you know like under court order or uh, uh, responding to subpoenas or following intelligence sharing arrangements and agreements of some sort. Okay, I'm bringing this all up today because last Tuesday, ICANN announced a new facility to improve the current situation for those, such as in law enforcement, who have a legitimate need to obtain access to otherwise redacted domain ownership information. So with a bit of editing, here's what ICANN said. They wrote, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, that's what ICANN stands for, I-C-A-N-N, -N, has launched the Registration Data Request Service, RDRS. The RDRS is a new service that introduces a more consistent and standardized format to handle requests for access to non-public registration data related to generic top-level domains, GTLDs. Personal data protection laws now require many ICANN accredited registrars to redact the personal data from public records that was previously available in their WHOES databases. With no one way to request or access such data, it can be difficult for interested parties to get the information they need. The RDRS helps to helps by providing a simple and standardized process to make these types of requests. The RDRS can be an important resource for ICANN accredited registrars and those who have a legitimate interest in non-public data, 
like law enforcement, intellectual property professionals, consumer protection advocates, cybersecurity professionals, and government officials. The RDRS is a free, global, one-stop, one-shop ticketing system that handles non-public TLD registration data requests. The RDRS connects requestors of non-public data with the relevant ICANN accredited registrars for TLD domain names that are participating in the service. The system will streamline and standardize the process for submitting and, re and receiving requests through a single platform. The service does not guarantee access to requested registration data. All communication and data disclosure between the registrars and requestors takes place outside of the system. By utilizing a single platform and request form, RDRS provides a consistent and standardized format for handling non-public TLD registration data requests. This simplifies the process for requestors by automatically identifying the correct registrar for a domain name and preventing the need to complete multiple forms with varying sets of required information managed by different registrars. The service also provides a centralized platform where requesters can conveniently access pending and past requests. They also have the ability to create new requests, develop request templates, and cancel requests when needed. Finally, registrars can benefit from using the service as it provides a mechanism to manage and track all non-public data requests in a single location. Registrars can re receive automated alerts anytime a request is submitted to them. The use of a standardized request form also makes it easier for the correct information and supporting documents to be provided to evaluate a request. So, to me, this seems like it's, it's been a long time coming and it makes so much sense. You know, there are today, there are so many shenanigans going on with internet domain names that abusers of the system need to know that their ability to hide is being reduced and legitimate domain owners should have a reasonable expectation of privacy. So the idea of having, you know, the who is databases, not all public yet still pr creating a uniform, you know, less hassleful means of obtaining that non-public data across registrars who all have their own ways of doing things. To me, you know, the idea of standardizing this process, at, you know, for obtaining the information seems like uh, makes a lot of sense and seems like a long missing piece that's finally being provided. So, you know, props to ICANN for this, you know, yay. I think that, that just, uh, that, that, that works. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. Together, ACI Learning and IT Pro entertain and train your team to keep your business performing at its best. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit. Twit listeners who complete the form can receive as much as 65% off an IT Pro enterprise solution plan. You'll get the proper quote based on the size of your team.